My name is Gwen with the GC Realty Group at Intero Burlingame. Whether you're a would-be home buyer or a home seller, you have to hear what's happening with the Foster City real estate market for single family homes. In the past 12 months, there's been a notable decrease in the median sales price, dropping from $2,400,000 just from a year ago to $2,210,000 in May. There's been a decrease in the number of listings available in the market this month compared to the previous year as well. Now, the average sales price per square foot had a huge decline from $1,304 to $1,077 per square foot just from a year ago. In May, the single family market in Foster City got a 13 new listings and a total of 13 homes it sold. This was a big drop from 18 new listings in May just a year ago. This shows that the inventory is low and the buyer demand continue to be strong. However, despite the heightened demand, there was an 8% decrease in the median sales price, dropping from $2,405,000 in April to $2,210,000 in May. Now, this is more than likely caused by the interest rate hike. This time last year, we were experiencing a 2% rate increase over just a span of a few months. The median number of days a property spent on the market also decreased from 7 in April to just 6 in May, indicating a very fast-paced market. Now, with the low inventory, there are less options and the motivated buyers are very quick to make an offer. Sellers in Foster City received an average of 105% of their asking price in May, and it's slightly higher than just 104% recorded in April. These impressive statistics showcase that the thriving and robust nature of the real estate market here in Foster City. The bank failures have had a surprisingly mild effect on the lending landscape so far. Rates have been fairly stable since the Feds did their rate hikes last year, with May having the most volatility due to the looming debt ceiling deal. As of now, rates are sitting at around 6.75%. Seems like the larger banks just got bigger because the depositors from these failed banks eventually just moved their assets to these bigger banks for stability. Now keep in mind, not a single depositor lost any of the money during the bank failures. In my opinion, that was done by design. Now imagine the chaos it would have been caused if the financial markets and our society if these depositors actually lost money. Our government knows better not to destabilize our perception of the banking system. We are in a marketplace that requires strategy, some patience, and knowledge if you're a seller. Affordability has affected every buyer in the market. If you're a home buyer, it is important to work with a broker that understands the complexity of the market and your unique needs to help you with one of the most important purchases of your life. So, if you're a would-be home seller or a home buyer entering the market, we would love the opportunity to earn your business. Reach out through the contacts below and Let's connect.